The touch dial receiver will require a few components, primarily the touch dial receiver, the five zone single color dimmer remote, and your single color LED lighting. In this example, we'll be using diode LED tape light installed in our Chromopath aluminum channels with premium diffusion lenses. Depending on which power supply is being used, some additional accessories will be required. For our demo, we're using our plug-in adapters which will require a female adapter splice cable to complete our installation. Make sure to read, review, and understand all instructions of the touch dial receiver and touch dial 5 zone single color dimmer remote before getting started. To see how all the components are put together, please take a look at part 1 of our touch dial tutorial videos. Using our demo from part 1, disconnect power to the touch dial receivers and open both lids on all receivers. On the right side of the receivers, push the tabs down to remove the RGB LED lighting. Using a flathead screwdriver or a pen can make this process a bit easier. Be sure to gently press down on the tabs to the red, green, blue, and if applicable, white terminals to your RGB or RGBW lighting. Insert the single color LED lighting following the label found on the face of the touch dial receiver. Remember, if you're experiencing difficulty with the tabs, use a flathead screwdriver or a pen to make things a bit easier. Be aware of voltage changes when switching between various LED products. Diode LEDs Dazzle 24 RGB and RGBW tape lights are 24 volt products. The chromopath fixtures we have in our example are 12 volt, so we'll need to switch power supplies accordingly. If you're unsure of which voltage platform your lighting product is using, check out Diode LEDs specification sheets found on our website or contact our customer service and technical support teams for assistance. Locate the jumper and learning key found on the left side of the touch dial receiver. Confirm the jumper is sitting on one header pin. If it's not, move the jumper to a single header pin using your fingers or a set of needle nose pliers. Once those details have been confirmed, reconnect power to the touch dial receiver. The lights may or may not be lit. If you're using used touch dial receivers like in our demo, you will need to reset them. To perform this, Press and hold the learning key found on the left side of the receiver. The lights attached will flash. If you're using new touch dial receivers, this process is not required. On the back side of the remote, locate and open the battery lid. You'll find a piece of plastic between the coin battery and the battery terminals. Remove the plastic and close the lid to the remote. The five zone single color dimmer remote contains a master on and off button found on the top of the remote labeled I and O, respectively. The zone control is divided into five buttons, respectively labeled on the face of the remote control as well. To sync and pair a touch dial receiver to a specific zone, press and release the learning key of a receiver followed by a press from the appropriate zone found on the remote control. The lights on the receiver should flash briefly when done correctly. Remember, if you have an additional touch dial receiver and want to add it to the same zone, simply repeat the process. Now that we know how to set up the touch dial receiver with single color LED lighting, let's learn some of the functions. Diode LED makes LEDs easy to understand, effortless to adapt, and simple to use. The five zone single color dimmer remote follows just that. The top two keys found on the remote operate all zone functions. Pressing and releasing the top key labeled I turns all zones on, while the O key just below turns the lighting off. Below the master function keys are the five zone keys, as mentioned previously. The right side of each key is labeled O and works as a dimmer, and the I on the left side of each key increases brightness. Pressing and holding the individual buttons will apply the action to that particular zone. This concludes the instructions for the five zone single color remote control. Take time dialing the light that works best for the environment and mood. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to Diode LED's customer service or technical support teams. Now that the instructions for both remote controls and the touch dial receivers have been covered, 
The next phase is to sync multiple receivers via a hardwired connection and also to go through the Touch Dial System's unique mobile app. We'll cover these steps in our conclusion video, part 3 of the Touch Dial tutorial.